I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, I met with Corrine. Well, my name is Corrine DeHaby, and uh, I'm the program director for Us Together in Toledo. Us Together is a refugee resettlement agency. It was founded in 2003 with headquarters in Columbus, Cleveland, and Toledo. As Karine says, they cover the A through Z of the resettlement process. So they will pick the refugees up from the airport. They will find them housing. Hopefully they can furnish the apartments. They help them apply for social security, enrollment in school, job assistance, educational programs, mentoring programs. They cover a lot on a very small staff. And there's an extra layer of complexity for Corrine specifically, as she's from the country that Toledo's receiving most of its refugees from. It was very painful to see the people, because they are from your country, you know, suffering and going through a lot of stuff. Yeah, it wasn't easy, it's especially from Syria. We never, because had any uh, any problems before or any anticipate to have Syrian refugees, but that wasn't on my uh, radar, you know. When I took this job, even, I didn't think we're going to resettle Syrian until later, you know. Karina is an American citizen but was raised in Syria. She moved to Toledo at the end of the 70s. And like she mentioned, she never imagined her full-time job would be resettling refugees from her own country. But the positive in that situation is that Kareen is a welcoming face and a voice to these refugees who have just arrived at the airport and are ready to start a new life in a totally different country. One of them said, I didn't know what to expect because we were at New York airport. Of course, you know how it is. It's a scary one because it's huge. And people speaking English, they didn't understand what's going on. And then they assumed they're going to have the same thing here in Toledo when they found found me, you know, at the end of the stairs waiting for them. So they were kind of excited somebody speaking their language. Although Corrine's presence provides a sense of home to these refugees, everything else comes as quite a shock, a culture shock. It's a sensitive subject, not only for us together, but for countries across the world accepting refugees. How to go about this blending of cultures, where oftentimes countries expect refugees to assimilate to Western values, and refugees expect an acceptance of their own culture. It's a hard balance to weigh, but Us Together thinks it is vital to start this conversation early. Actually, it's mandatory. Uh, We do like 12 topics of orientations, and as we go, not even in that classroom setting, it's daily thing, we talk to them. Like this is the American uh, society, this is what they do in this case, this is, we teaching them. So we telling them, it's okay to bring your good things from your culture, we're not telling you to forget about your culture, you know? But then it's, you're here, it's good to learn about the American culture because you're gonna be living here almost all your life. So if you wanna bring your culture and stick to it, it's not gonna be successful for you to be in the United States and don't expect the American people, if they are, even though they are very sensitive to their culture, they are going out of the way, the American people, to accommodate them and their culture and their belief. But they are here, you know, and I think they are realizing that after being here for a few years. At first few years, I mean, the first two years, it's hard for them to comprehend. But then as they go and meet the people and the church, uh, not the churches, but I mean, the schools and stuff, they are realizing that they need to bend I asked Corrine for an example of a difference within the cultures, and she laughed, stating that she could list plenty. One would be healthcare and education, both of which are free in Syria. So the idea of waiting for a doctor's appointment or or paying college tuition is completely foreign to these refugees. Also, there's the social aspect. A workday in Syria is around 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So there's plenty of time to spend with your extended family, who most likely all live within one household. So the kids grow up with the aunt, uncle around them, grandma, grandpa, you know, they are used to this family, you know, uh, tightness and uh, tights. But here it's everybody's busy with their own life. That's the thing. And this is probably different. Like, you know, I called, they didn't answer, you know, they tell me that sometimes, but we are busy. Sometimes we can answer all calls, you know, this is few things. Maybe you think they are minor, but for somebody coming from overseas thinking, you know, this is the lifestyle here, it's going to be major issue sometimes until they get used to it. So Us Together does have a curriculum that each refugee has to complete to receive the full benefits of the program. But the community surrounding Us Together doesn't have the same kind of expectations. And yet Toledo seems to be invested nonetheless. Corrine mentioned multiple times how welcoming the Northwest Ohio community has been and how eager they are to learn about the new cultures 
entering their town. And Corinne believes it's this interaction between two drastically different cultures coming together that sets up the community for its success. She knows this because she's seen it accomplished within herself and all the refugees that she's been able to meet through us together. I learned a lot in this position because, like I said, we're not dealing with uh, Syrian. Uh, we're dealing with people from all over, like, you know, from Congo, from Burundi. Uh, how sweet the people are. We even dealt with uh, Cuban refugees, uh, very nice people, and it gives you new perspective. Like, you know, I know I'm from Syria. I should be more like, you know, I know more stuff, open to different cultures, but it's always learning experience. I learned about the Cuban culture. I, le I learned about the Congolese, you know, and then uh, the people from Afghanistan and Pakistan. So it's like unique, each person has their unique personality, unique case, everything is unique about each person. I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries. 